California lawmaker is looking to ditch speed limits along Highway 99 and the I-5, all in an effort to make roads safer. 23 ABC's Emma Lockhart spoke with the senator introducing the bill that would bring a high-speed autobahn to the state. Emma? California Republican Senator John Morlock is getting the conversation started about a controversial idea, lanes with no speed limits, designed after the German autobahn. Imagine being able to drive as fast as you wanted without the risk of getting a ticket. It's a reality for drivers in Germany with the high speed Autobahn, a freeway with no speed restrictions. And California Republican Senator John Morlock from Orange County is looking to bring the same concept to the state. I think half the population is really nervous about going fast and are, you know, kind of guarded and concerned about safety concerns. The other half are like, yeah, give me that opportunity. <laughs> I want to be able to go quickly. Morlock introduced Senate Bill 319 Tuesday. The legislation would create limitless north and southbound lanes on the 99 and the 5 from Bakersfield to Stockton, a controversial move that Morlock says would reduce accidents and ease congestion. Being able to go at a speed you're comfortable with uh, actually shows that uh, it's, it's safer. In fact, traffic accidents on freeways in the United States is three times higher than that in Germany. But some research suggests otherwise. According to the American Journal of Public Health, they found a 3.2% increase in road fatalities attributable to the raised speed limits. However, Morlock is still advocating for the potential safety benefits. He says the new fast lanes would be kept apart from the lanes with speed limits, keeping the traffic separated. Driving on the limitless lanes would be optional. However, those who want to go as fast as they desire, they would have to have proper qualifications. If the state wants to ensure that the, the vehicles are safe, then we could have an inspection policy. And if they're concerned about the capability of drivers, uh, we could have a class A, class B or some other form of, of driver's license. The new legislation comes shortly after the state's recent halt to the proposed high speed rail. Morlock says the limitless lanes are an alternative to get people up and down the state quickly, but it is not being met without pushback. Morlock says many people have voiced concerns about safety and the logistics of getting drivers qualified to drive full speed. What about qualifications? What about the caliber of the vehicle? What about uh, whether or not you're really saving greenhouse gases, which is something we're concerned about. The bill does not include a total estimated cost, but Morlock says funding would come from the cap and trade tax and or the gas tax. Morlock says the bill is most likely headed to the Senate Transportation Committee first, where it will be voted on. In studio, Emma Lockhart, 23 ABC.